Nap yang aldaw tadangimin. Welcome to my learning book for the course, Film Chen. This is the fourth entry for my learning blog. And honestly, I have put our activity for this one with some caution. If I will be blunt, while some finds non-nurture films challenging, I find it boring. Unless this storytelling is really chat-provoking and curiously inducing. But it seems to me that I have learned something worth about it today. Our film exercises about nonlinear storytelling have that what they call a speditive kind of vibes. Rearranging this story in various patterns without changing the overall story make your scene of the running in every direction to come up with a plan of action. And yes, it's hard. It was a challenge making the whole thing work especially on Makis, who is not a fan of non-narrative films. There are mga moments too when you do not know how to approach it, but it also gives you the aha moment when you finally come to a resolution. And if you ask me again if I want you to tell a story in a non-narrative style, in percentage, it would be 20%. Why? That is because it seems too risky especially if it is for a commercial movie. But if it is for an independent film intended for film festivals here and abroad, maybe. Yet I could still say that the viability in the cinema is not much. Pero, kung ka-fight fight naman, eh di bongga. And yet, I still like to learn about it too. And now, I ended it here. Thank you. And to the next Learning blog for the course Film Chan.